Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have an unusual prayer request. Uh, okay, I'll just kind of give you a, a, a quick overview, and then I'll leave the link, and you can go watch it. He can explain all the details. This man on Super House Church has a 43, he's turning 43 tomorrow, I think. He was born with the umbilical cord around his neck, which left him, uh, I guess, mentally disabled. He works on about the level of a four-year-old. He's in a group home now and was supposed to come home for his birthday and Christmas. But they just received a call, I guess, yesterday. Let's see, this was put up the 22nd. So I don't, I'm not sure when, but they just learned that if he comes home, he will be locked in his room for 14 days to eat, drink, do his business, entertain himself, whatever. Solitary confinement, basically, in his room for 14 days at, at the age level of a four-year-old. So this man is asking for prayer to help him find that the Lord would help him either have somebody call him or might know someone in Oklahoma that is an Americans for Disability Act attorney. He needs an attorney to fight this because he said, as far as he can tell right now, this is how it will be from here on out. Well, Jesus is coming, and he's one of the innocents, and that boy will go. He is a boy in a man's body, and he will be one of the innocents that will leave. But in the meanwhile, this father and his mother, his, the, the boy's mother, would like to see him for the holidays without subjecting him to a 14-day quarantine. It's terrible. So anyway, I'm just going to leave the link. If you can't see the link, it's Super House Church. And the video is titled, Update on Our Son Chris. Okay? Let us pray that he finds an attorney to fight this. Because this, this, this man, they're going to go take him his gifts. Spend some time with him. He's not going to understand why he can't go home with them. They have to do it for his own good because locking him in his room for 14 days when there's nothing wrong with him is just wrong. If the staff cannot monitor these, these people that come back after a visit, take, taking their temps, monitoring if they're sniffling or whatever. They don't even plan to do testing upon return. Nothing. Just lock them in their room. I mean, that's just wrong. I'll leave it go at that. Y'all pray. And if you know anybody that's an uh, attorney for Americans with Disabilities Act that might be able to help fight this, Please go to Superhouse Church and leave a comment for this man, okay? I, I don't know that I've ever watched them. He does look familiar, so I may have at one time. All right, thank you very much. You all have a blessed day.